Hi, I'm Todd Gordy, member of Parliament for Caribou Prince George, and I, with me today we've got Mel Arnold, our, co our colleague uh, Mel Arnold, as well as uh, Spruce City Wildlife Association, Steve Hamilton. Today we're at the Spruce City Wildlife uh, Association's uh, Salmon Hatchery, and uh, Steve, thank you for touring us around this morning uh, and talking to us a little bit about your program and the importance of uh, last week's reversal uh, and backing off on the, uh, the decision of the government in terms of cutting the salmon enhancement program and um, and uh, tell us a little bit about what you've got going on here. I, I can't say enough how important this program is to, to Spruce City and the region, is also British Columbia. Uh, as I was talking earlier, we put over 5,000 people through in the last year on tours alone and we expect to double that this year. Wow. Uh, kids get to see firsthand how our hatchery works and get, get to put their hands on fish. And a lot of kids that come through here before this program started didn't get to that connection of the stream to sea, as they like to call the program. And as I've said before, we, we need that outdoor connection and get kids caring firsthand about it again. Less Xbox and more Taco Box. So uh, I hope you can hear us because Steve's got a great saying. It's going to be a new hashtag. Uh, it's going to be less Xbox and more Taco Box. Mel, you and I heard about it uh, when we were on the East Coast, our Atlantic Salmon, our Northern Cod study. You know, our, our next generation, our fishers and hunters, uh, they're losing connection. And the Salmon Enhancement Program here in British Columbia, we know is so important um, to, uh, you know, educating our next generation of those fishers, our kids that are coming through the school programs. As Steve mentioned, 5,000 kids this year alone and by September, you figure there's going to be even more. At least, at least another 5,000. We've got tours booked up right, left, and center. And how many fish have you released from here? Uh, we just did a, a release uh, beginning of May, and we put 2,000 fish out. 3,000 people showed up for them. And the program that we, we helped uh, raise the eggs for, give to the Stream to Sea program, they put out about the same. So. And how many tanks do we have just in our, uh, our area alone? We have 23 tanks that are, uh, get funding for it and another four on top of that are done by volunteer time alone, and at least another dozen people on the waiting list, and we get phone calls and emails every day saying we want to change. So, so they did a release a while back, and they made a call out letting people know about uh, doing this release just down the road from here. How many people did you have to show up? We had almost 3,000 people show up for 2,000 fish. It was unbelievable. The support was amazing. So if you want to know the importance of, uh, or you want an indication of the importance of, uh, of this species, of the salmon, of conserving our rivers, lakes, and streams in the province of British Columbia, that's a great example. Mel, you got anything to say? Uh, this is, the salmon enhancement program is really about connecting people with the fish, getting them to understand that connection. It's been going for decades, it's been a successful program. It was a shame to see that it was gonna be cut. I'm glad to see government change their direction on that, but it was because people got involved. They knew the importance of the program. We wanna see it continue in perpetuity because it really puts kids and adults in connection with the salmon and the rivers. So thanks Todd for hosting this, uh, this uh, video and for the Spruce City Wildlife Wildlife Association for their hatchery work here, all the volunteers that put so much into the program. And thank you to all the grassroots that rode in, that told us the importance, that uh, really uh, shared their voice, whether it was with Mel and myself in our, our, uh, our critics' uh, uh, um, uh, roles within the uh, Fisheries, Oceans, Canadian Coast Guard, or rode into uh, MPs right across Canada. It's your voice that matters most. 35,000 kids per year for the last 40 years. This is a program that has to continue, and thank you for your voice. Steve, thank you so much thank for uh, taking the time today. Now, thanks yeah. again. Thank you, Steve. I'm Todd Doherty, Member of Parliament for Caribou Prince George. We're at the Spruce City Wildlife Association uh, Fish Hatchery in Prince George, and uh, very proud of this organization and the work they're doing. Mel Arnold, Member of Parliament, North Okanagan, Chutwa. Thanks for your time.